Hey everybody, today I'm showing you the Queen Cox. It's the WD7 Lightning Calculator. This is known also as the Galton board and bean machine, things like that. It was invented by Sir Francis Galton and it's used to demonstrate normal distribution, center limit theorem, and whether you are in statistics probability, you've probably seen something like this or some online simulation of it. These balls basically drop and you can adjust this. You can adjust all these different sides to change the way they actually form. So it's for demonstration of if you have a large enough sample, you're gonna have this normal distribution. Now these cost actually a lot of money if you buy them new, but a lot of people buy older versions and you can get a pretty good deal depending if you get lucky and condition, what's included, accessories, carrying case, all that good stuff. It's actually pretty, pretty large. You get the balls here, bring it like that. So all the balls are now there. As far as the back, you get this stand. This actually adjusts that. So if you if you realize that your distribution is slanted in some way, and you want to have a sort of a more normal distribution, you can adjust this. So this actually changes this little red thing here. It changes the way the balls actually drop. This also can be adjusted. If I want to keep them like that, so they fall all the way down, just lock them here. Lock this and This does they have a key here. I don't actually have the key that you can use to remove. And I assume you can actually change this. Pins and three of them can be moved around, but not on all of them. This on this particular version. Now, I don't know if there are others available. I haven't seen it on the website. how actually you change that red triangle that drops the balls this is what's printed on it but this is a little bit old you can see the age but i'm not sure how much it was actually used it's great for statistics for probability courses like that i wouldn't say it's as cool as the smaller one that i have that one it's a little bit trippier much easier to use whereas this is a little bit large and barely fits on my desk so it's a pretty large thing I'd, I'd say this is for businesses or for classrooms things like that these screws are not just for decoration you can actually tighten them and that, that controls how loose this is going to be if you want to actually lock this in a specific position such as this and that way I can drop these and they don't get a stock move it here so you can actually see As the size, you see that about 28 inches, give or take. Just giving you a rough estimate of the size. This is about 15 inches. I'm just gonna release a bunch of these balls. Now I can also do it like that. 
so if they actually show up there. So that's about it. This is the Lightning Encapsulator. It's a pretty large Dalton board that you can use to demonstrate certain statistics and probability principles such as center limit theorem and normal distribution. It's not that heavy. It's actually very well built, even though it's a little bit old. So everything is manual. It's nothing fancy. There's no mechanism to move the balls to the top automatically. And you shouldn't expect that. Unlike the smaller Galton board that I've covered, which is very easy to reset. This takes a little bit of effort. For more information, please go to gadgetify.com, also youtube.com at gadgetify. I don't have a manual for this, and I don't exactly know what you would need for manual. If you know your statistics and if you know your math, you can explain certain concepts, but I don't think you need a manual for this. Most of the things are straightforward. You can tighten these if you want them to not move around when you're dropping the balls. You can move these around. You can open this and change it. You can even open these if you want to, if you want to use different balls you have that option available as well so that shouldn't be an issue thanks for watching